Hi and welcome to another episode and what we've got here is, is an OSSC. You can see from the sticker down below and we can also see it's had a fair bit of use. Four years of use in fact. Now maybe not every day but it does get a lot of use. Especially the SCART. Now four years worth of plugging and unplugging and plugging and replugging. Sadly the port has had its day. It's a bit flaky. In fact I've been complaining about it being a bit flaky for quite some time. So I searched for a SCART port replacement and I found one and I think I found the same one as what actually goes in here I mean the little plasticky leg things do look the same so I can't think of fancy segways so let's just move across to the channel sponsors Wei hey it's PCB Wei they are a fully featured custom PCB service based in China it doesn't matter if you're a hobbyist wanting a prototype or a company needing a full-scale rollout, PCB Way have got you covered. PCB Way have a range of services with everything from PCB prototypes, CNC, 3D printing, and all the way back round again to PCB assembly. If you're not too sure how to bring your wonderful ideas to market, don't worry. PCB Way now have EMS and OEM services, helping you to make sure not only a product is a good product, but a great product. Or if you're a hobbyist who knows their resistors from their zeners or someone who's just learning how to hold a soldering iron, PCB Way have a shared product page where you can either share your PCB designs or have some PCBs made up so you can learn how to solder like the best of them. All this starts from as little as five US dollars. Check out PCB Way today by finding our link in the description down below. So we need to get into here and as we can see basically there's screws top and bottom going into plasticky standoffs and bolts and things and nuts so let's make sure we remove the SD card micro SD card so we don't lose that hopefully we can do it one side at a time and then we can and as always I'm not going to bore you on doing all of them but it is more of a nut and bolt affair more than a screw. So let's get on with removing the rest of them. So there's probably no real need to take the whole thing to bits, but there was six years worth of dust sort of sitting in there. I'll give it more of a dust. Um, I may have been in here before, but um, even so, he's doing. So this is the annoying scar socket that we need to replace. So let's get the desoldering gun out and desolder all this. So before I get the desoldering gun going, I'm going to put some flux onto the points so that it's easier to desolder. It looks to be quite a bit of solder there in the first place. So I don't think I need any fresh, but who knows if it becomes difficult. Sometimes it's easier just to add more. You can use the desoldering gun to actually add the more. You don't need to get your soldering iron out. Oh, lots of people have it all in one now, don't they? But um, I'm not so fortunate. So, that's the flux. Get the soldering gun warmed up. See, told you it's noisy. Well, I'll do the first one. And then I'll fast forward through the rest of them. So as it's warmed up. As always, I will explain yet again, for those that don't watch the channel every single time, when you're using the desoldering gun, don't just go, just move it away. Carry on pulling the trigger even though you've moved away from it. I'll try to do it. I sometimes forget myself, even though I do babble on about it. See, I moved the gun away and carried on sucking, because that way, after the solder is actually inside the gun, there's some still room for plenty of air to get up and push it through or be sucked through taking the solder with it. So we'll do that again and again and again. And fingers crossed it comes off first time. As you can probably tell from there, quite a few of the solder joints haven't actually come away 
nicely so I'm gonna to have to add some more solder there just so that I can suck it all back again so let's get on with doing that That's looking a little bit more promising. No idea if this is being glued down or not. Nope, doesn't seem to be. see some I've still been a bit awkward so now I'll do this basically just wiggle each pin closer to it until it starts to give way So that was easy enough. <laughs> right, now let's make sure we don't get this one mixed up with the new one. Wherever I've put that already. <laughs> no, only kidding. There's the new one. So this is getting thrown straight in the bin. Easy enough to know which way round it goes because there's only one way for it to go. I now need to wait for the desoldering station to cool down anyway because I've only got room for one at a time. So let's hope that all these pins are lined up and raring to go. Bit of a fun one to do because you have to get the pins and the leg things to sit together. Can we see all the way through? Can we see blue lifted up? Yeah, we can see blue through all of them. So that's fine. And it seems I've got a version 1.6. I thought it did. Not too sure what the latest versions do differently. There we go, it went in nicely. So I'll say that again. Just a matter of waiting for the desoldering station to cool down enough so I can put it to a safe place, get the soldering station out, and then do all the different pins again with some wonderful solder, which I'm running out of. Luckily, there is some in the wings waiting to be brought on. Slightly different version. Hopefully, maybe a higher quality version, but uh, we should be good enough anyway because all the soldering that I've done with this, well... If I've done a bad solder, it was a bad solder. Otherwise, it worked perfectly fine. So, for you, it'll be instantaneously, but for me, I've got to wait a good 30 minutes. So, a bit of time's gone by, put some more flux on. So, I want it to go in the right places. I think that's probably more than enough. Is this the bit where I zoom in so you can see how rubbish my soldering skills really are? I think it is. Super fast zoom. E oh, not so fast. Wait, let's move it a little bit. Oh, 
bit more zooming. That's going to have to do. It's not exactly centre, but. There we go. So, do one in real time. And then we'll fast forward the rest of them. Okay, so let's zoom really far in. Mm, not the best, but definitely cleaning up now. So let's get the alcohol and all well, the isopro alcohol and clean it up. Okay, time to zoom back out again. If anyone knows how to make this camera zoom in and out a lot faster, please let me know. Don't think there is. Let's squirt some of this on. There we go. Get the Q-tips, cotton buds, whatever you want to call them. Let that dry off. Make sure this is closed for safety purposes. As I say, let that dry off. So time to put everything back together again. Let's see if we can get this the right way round. So we want this in here. That sits there. There we go. We put the the gripper and the nut back on top. That way around, of course. We only need it finger tight, we don't need it ridiculously tight. And then we put the tall post in there. And we put the this, this way around. So let's put a short post and a long screw. Might even be easier. Yep, it is easier to put the screws through first. So I say screws, it's really a bolt. So fast forward this bit. So a bit of huffing and panting and swearing. Managed to get it go back in again, but that note does not want to go back on that screw. I don't know why. It's like it's misthreaded. Must have been forced in the first place. Or I've messed it up, I don't know. Point is it's back together again. And the reason I put it back together again before testing the SCART socket is because it is fully exposed. 
and I can't really get everything plugged in to test it with this mat here and everything so I want to make sure it's fine but it seems to be nice and sturdy which is always what it was it's just the connections were never sturdy after years of use so let me clean all this out of the way pick a random computer that has SCART what could I possibly pick I don't know put your guesses down in the description down below okay so electrons plugged in we've got a power light I've found that the OSSC doesn't always grab a picture from it if you try to turn that on first so turn that on oh in fact let's turn it off move you across to the small screen and turn it on yep pictures right so the bouncy pitchiness of it isn't the SCART socket that's the timings of the OSSC it's trying its best to guess what the electrons doing I need to mess around with the settings that's a different story but let's make sure we've got color because that's always a roaring one right we have color um, what silly game can we load arena 3000 I'm no expert when it comes to the uh, BBC and electron type games definitely got some color though is the keyboard working Oh, press space. There we go. Beep, 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 beep. That's coming through the speaker of the electron into the microphone. I still haven't done the mod. Well, that was a long beep. I still haven't done the mod so that the sound goes through the SCART. I really wish that Retro Computer Shack would make them like that but um, he doesn't seem interested in doing it. I don't think he thinks there's a call for it, but there is. Um, but I'll do that mod myself. I think what I'll do is buy another cable for him and try my best to do that. Maybe that can be another video some other day. But in the meantime, uh, ZX star slash up and down, return to fire. I don't know what kind of game this is. I've not played it. Romulan robots. Oh. oh, it's a Robotron ripoff. I see. Would help if I press the right buttons. Can I kill them all? There we go. Right. So I'm going to pull the power on it before it makes even more beeps. Take you back to the big screen. So, I hope that was of some interest. It's relatively easy to replace the SCART socket on the OSSC. If you don't have a desoldering station or soldering iron, get a friend who has. I'll put a link in the description for the particular scout socket that I bought so that you can hopefully find the same sort of one, you know, as in it's right angled and um, has those little plastic eclipse on the side. So it, it's a like for like replacement. If anything, just make sure it is. So while you're down there in the description, have a look for the Patreon and the Discord links. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Tell everybody about this channel. Make sure I can get up to 2,000 subs by the end of the year. As always, happy gaming.